Okay, welcome. This is the first actual episode of my Let's Play. The previous two being just uh, presentations of mm, the system. I, by the way, installed two new mods. I installed uh, additional buildcraft objects and uh, also I installed the iron chest mod. I also cleared away this this little hill here and I'm going to build there my well mm, a, a, my workshop you could say for that uh, since I want to make it real quick I need to craft myself uh, one of our dearly well I need a slime ball I want to craft a philosopher's stone. You can see here the recipe. I also craft myself a crafting guide. And I need a water bucket, sugar canes, a sapling, and seeds. It's a shapeless recipe, so. and doesn't require anything else. So I place the slime ball in the middle. I surround it with redstone and glowstone. And I've got my philosopher's stone which is uh, real fortunate. Now if I want to craft myself another one I need to go into the lake, grab more water yeah and this has been a problem for quite a while now I don't really know how to solve it and uh, with all this I can craft another slime ball the Philosopher's Stone, this and this, yeah, gave me another Philosopher's Stone. Call me paranoid, but I prefer to have uh, someone saved up, just in case. And I don't need the crafting guide anymore. So I now will graph cobblestone in dire quantities. And some of my leftover stone stairs. I also crafted a bed finally, since, well, now I will be stopping the work for the night time instead of just being in the bottom of the system. Mm -hmm. which means uh, mostly <laughs> underground and uh, let's check this out it's in creation mode maximum load and see how big the, the creation is Woha! yeah that's quite uh, more than enough in fact well, I can always make a two-side uh, system or two stories high. Yeah, as you can see, it uh, makes things like uh, well, it makes this all a lot. Ooh, all much, all the much easier. Ho ho! One, two, three, four of eight. Perfect. I like it. Now let me see, perfect in this way, this other way is perfect, yep, I like it. I have never used the Philosopher's Stone this way, but uh, <laughs> I could get addicted to it. And give me one uh, in here, yeah, and another one in uh, here, no, crap. Anyway, as you can see where I'm going in here, I'm going to craft myself um, a workshop where to place a lot of stuff. I plan to first make a cobblestone generator. If you, s if you watch my previous videos in this uh, Let's Play, you know I have a Buildcraft 3 blueprint, but I doubt I will be using it at least for now <coughs> since I want to make uh, sorry 
<coughs> since I want to make a small uh, yeah that's more like it I want to make a small and, and faster or at least not as uh, demand demanding for the game uh, generator and this I think is going to hurt a little oh my oh I can take it it's just a flesh wound anyway I will be crafting here the cobblestone generator now it's getting to night time so I'm going to sleep and I will use it to start producing some stuff sadly I don't have my I don't have uh, teleporting pipes so I won't be able to make um, uh, what was the name? A distribution pipe. So I will have to survive, so to speak, with the round robin pipes from the additional buildcraft objects. Or, well, let things go their way if I want to take out some different stuff. I mean, I will going to need uh, lots of iron, lots of gold lots of uh, diamonds and everything will be needed all the time so having um, so having too many transmutation tables would be well kinda wasteful yay oh my and uh, oops how oh, this didn't hurt at all. I think I will make here a little door too. <coughs> and it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, I like it really. S there's nine. So, full charge, uh, the Philosopher's Stone makes uh, nine blocks of height uh, cobblestone wall. This is Kinda. Good to know. Now let me see. Yep. Thank you, sir. Ha ha ha. Now this is a funny and easy way of building. Unlike our usual go around putting one block at a time oh. for hours. Yep. <coughs> Okay, now let me see. Yep, perfect. Now this in here. Oh, mistake. So I will have to craft myself uh, real soon a uh, backpack. If nothing else, because, well, I'm running out of use uh, rather quickly with my little drilling machine. And I will need in, uh, to craft some solar panels. Anyway, my first uh, automation will be to craft uh, pipes, most likely, because, uh, well, with lo the logistics pipes mod and, um, and the way it allows to craft uh, a lot of stuff on on demand instead of having to craft the production lines then update the, uh, those lines and keep them all the time working etc is uh, well it's uh, i suppose it was one of the reasons uh, of my previous world's uh, lack so I'm going to cut the feet uh, now and keep building a little. Also, I'm going to have uh, my to have lunch, and so I need to well light that up as soon as I can before it's really night time. So let's cut this for a while. Okay, I'll f close all the building. I also expanded uh, a little 
it's well I add the old uh, top is added so it has uh, about 10 blocks high and I put the, the this door uh, one block higher that's because I built as you can see here two rows of um, of uh, the cobblestone generator uh, you can see here the block breaker already placed they are well they are uh, oriented and ready and these are uh, 32 of them I place a level over it as you can see here let's make a gravel yeah you can see here the, the top and here there's the other row of the cobblestone generator sadly I will have to manually uh, place everything and well then I'll have to rota rotate it with the, with the screwdriver and after that I will have to go oh shit go around and craft some some pipes yeah the bad thing about this is that uh, the block breakers and the deployers won't uh, orientate themselves and and won't be uh, and their reorientation won't depend on where where they facing but uh, towards the north I suppose oh and I ran out of juice in my my drill well I can live with that for a while and there's the other so you can see each of these modules has um, can uh, houses 16 block breakers and that means uh, well that means I will produce 64 cobblestone per a uh, per tick of the of the clock I'll I still have to craft that will well that will mean about uh, sorry, 96 uh, blocks per 3 seconds since I prefer to keep the the timer at uh, a second and a half all the t and uh, well this is a, a small addition I made you can see here the, the outside of the house <laughs> I made that because well I didn't left any space in here for the for the tubes to go so I need to well I suppose I could have uh, just dig ar uh, around this since there's already this in here I can check this out right now but oh well and I will hold all the cobblestone in here I don't think uh, I will be making any kind of automatic uh, crafting system in here right now at least but uh, in the future I may be going to do precisely that I am not sure about it it will all depend on how I can make things interact with the logistic pipes Uh, right now the top of the building can't be accessed but uh, I place some torches up there so no mob will spawn and mess around things and stuff and uh, I suppose that's mostly it that there's the from here I took uh, a lot of sand well a lot, not a lot, just uh, about two stacks and a half or something like that for the rest, well, to in th this direction, to the northwest, there was a desert, and I found, uh, well, I found, 
I was reusing a lava pool in here. Which you can see it's uh, not all the not well not uh, not completely used up. So I can still take some from here. This uh, I also empty completely another lava pool with the crafting of the cobblestone generator and the obsidian frame for the portal to go to the nether. Now where was that uh, teleportation out? I think I lost it. Whoops. Crap. And I'm not carrying the portal gun so well. Uh, as you can see this is quite a big, quite a big mining operation. But I found oh there, I can go up now. I found a lot of uh, stuff lying around. I found about uh, twenty or so diamonds, lots of redstone, lots of nickelite ore, yeah, some tungsten, things like that. Yeah, as I thought the portal gun for some reason is. Uh, is behaving oddly lately. It uh, deactivates itself from time to time, or it won't work. So, well, kinda strange, really. Anyway, as I said, I need to start crafting the the tubes, and for that, I'm going to need to farm. Some, some, ah, I, some clay, because I don't have any, and I need, uh, I need some bricks to craft the alloy furnace, which will allow me to craft the um, brass. Was it? Well, red power to alloy for the. For the tubes. <coughs> so I'm going on another hunt and collect quest. Yay! Oh well. And I suppose I will be uh, crafting more. That was the name. Oh yeah, I suppose I should uh, craft some build, uh, industrial craft machinery. I suppose I will replace the the, the roof, or at least part of it, with some solar generators. Then place an MFE somewhere and use it to feed some uh, grinder and uh, some some induction 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 furnace uh, up here i'm not sure right now really this was going to be well a workshop not a cobblestone generation machine but uh, who cares if you yeah, I think you can see the light dots in the top. That's the um, torches on the roof. So I won't bore you anymore for now. Let's go hunting clay. Yeah, I know what are you thinking. I just thought the same. Ah, gosh. Now and then I need to, well, think the other way around instead of just, uh, well, <laughs> do stuff the, the old way. Now let's see, will this give me bricks or brick blocks? I don't remember, I suppose it will be, yeah, bricks. Brick blocks. Well, 
whatever. Yeah, I completely forgot I had a Philosopher's Stone and that I could uh, turn Cobblestone into this even after using it to craft some some iron for the block breakers so as you can imagine I'm quite a glutz oh well I let this finished and I'll craft an alloy furnace I'll place it I place it here and then I will go around and and uh, place the redstone tubes. Yeah. I found 31 diamonds down there. Yoohoo! Okay. Okay. I'm smelting, as you can see, some stuff. And wanna test if this copper ore, which I think is from forestry, will work with. Uh, industrial craft for now it seems to be smelting nicely and as you can see I'm, f I'm well I made a small mistake okay three copper ore is more than enough let me see yeah before this I have tested with um, oh crap uh, with the vanilla ones for the red power 2 which are rather ubiquitous this in here and the other one is well this this is those one those two and this ninja tungsten ore now, if I remember right, the recipe, it should be like this. Perfect. Now, no, I don't need uh, this. But I do need some stone. More copper. Yoohoo! Which means another circuit, circuit by the way. Uh, there. I also need more iron smelted into refined iron. And if I'm not mistaken, I do need flint. Okay, first I need an extractor. I need an extractor which were made with an item I crafted before and I forgot about it. Let me check the wiki. I'm s yeah, I need a machine as I thought. Haha. <laughs> the good thing about this is uh, I'm rather quick making the stuff once I know what to do. Okay. Out of fuel. Yoohoo! No need to waste time, I suppose. There we are. Uh, now, what were I going to do? Oh, yeah. This in here. Oh, <laughs> forgot. Mm, okay, I'm going to need uh, one, two, three. Well, I'm, I'll smelt four, four in a row. Why not? <clears throat> While well, I craft the um, compressor, no, I need the macerator. Ah, uh, the macerator won't use this. I need two of two of those. So, macerator was like a uh, hope. 
failure needs more uh, refined iron. Fortunately, I do have a lot of uh, extra materials, or I would be oh. <laughs> in big trouble. Okay, now I have a macerator and I have copper. Let me think. Oh, oh, weren't? Oh. No! I can't use both regardless of their origin. Crap. Nope, I'm making... It's not with copper, damn me. It's... I... I completely forgot. Oh well. I can do this, which is not really. Uh, I don't know. It's not uh, <coughs> good looking, but oh hell, works. Now start uh, taking out this. Would ya? Thank you very much. Now well, our good machines uh, work and try to repair the mess I'm currently in. I'm going to place all this in here. No, the tree tap, no. And I'm going out to check on the trees. Which uh, fortunately should have grown... Yes. Well, not grown, but at least they regenerate some of this. I think I'll take down this one. It's not producing anymore. Oh, we have a new one. If you're wondering about uh, these two in here, it's because I need to reach up there. Haha. <laughs> and yep, another one in here. This is a nice harvest, if I say so myself. And I let's try to get uh, more from here. You know, there was a time when you uh, had to be careful if you really wanted to see a rubber tree growing because they used to grow like uh, lightnings. But uh, not anymore, it seems. Okay, you go down. Uh, I'll place this in here and this in here and let's hope for the best yep and I ne really need to start uh, with the copper and tin uh, smelting oh my gosh mm. oh well uh, Refinit iron ready. Nothing, 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 nothing. Perfect. And got copper dust. Okay. I'll wrap the episode in here and I'll try to craft myself a branch for which I need not copper, but uh, copper and tin dust to smelt it together. Well, something like that. Uh, I understand myself, don't worry. I'm not that crazy. So, I'll see you in episode 2. Thanks for watching. Like uh, if you like the video. And I hope to see you again. See ya!